All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Slime Isika Memories video. So today we're going to be doing the Primordial White Blanc Showcase. Now, I don't have the best gear on her. Um, it's very basic, but yeah, this is going to be the showcase. I have her level 108. Um, if you guys were there during the stream, um, well, one, first, I want to know, would, do you guys want me to live stream my summons or just record them? Um, which one do you prefer? Do you have any preference? Um, just let me know down below, uh, because I would definitely like to know. Like, I like recording them, but live streaming also feels more real, I guess. Um, and it's also fun in real time, but let me know down below. Um, but she is a light attribute magic character. She's on Visions of Coleus, Primal Demon, and Fountain of Wisdom. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, ability release wise, um, I have her fully maxed out. Um, equipment, as you saw, I have just the basic stuff. So, uh, I went over this in your in my Shoju Summon video, but we'll go over this really quickly. Um, she has a single target like magic attack for 490% or 735 percent um, normal damage, um, which is which is great. Uh, or 490. Ah, uh, whatever the math is. Um, I think it's 735. Um, but then she has Shifting Silver Strike, so at level 10, this increases allies' weakness strike by 100% for one turn, and decreases all targets' synergy resistance by 50% for one turn. Lower the value, greater damage applied with synergy. Um, pretty, pretty standard, excuse me, um, pretty, uh, like, standard for synergy resistance, um, but it's pretty decent. Uh, weakness strike, as we've seen, is, um, actually a surprisingly effective buff, and it's by 100%, and then also the synergy resistance, um, I think we'll see that actually contribute a lot. Like, synergy already adds a lot, but then if you throw the resistance down, you'll probably do a lot of damage. Um, so this is a really good support skill. The next is Alabaster Flash, so... 25 skill points, she changes three uh, soul of combos into soul of divine protection for one turn and then increases all blue gauge increase by 10% at max. So changes three alt orbs, at least, or up to three alt orbs into three blue orbs and then buffs the gauge increase. So really, really good. Um, good for stacking teams and stuff like that where you don't want to have the orbs get in the way. Um, very, very useful. I think overall, from what her skills look like so far, she's going to be a really good support unit, but we'll, ha we'll have to see, right? So her Valor trait, um, since I have two dupes in her, um, it is 20%. So when you unleash a, a two combo with her uh, out in the Vanguard, all of the enemies' div Divine Protection Gauge increases are decreased by 20% for one turn, once per battle. Um, if this was just level 104, then this would be 10%. And then her actual trait, uh, when you have three more characters, she gives protection gauge by four every two turns or by six every two turns at three dupes. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the third dupe, but still, four protection gauge every two turns is great. And then obviously that, and then this is her EX board. So pretty decent kit overall. I really, I, I like her kit. Um, very support oriented, but still really good and can probably do a lot of damage. Um, let's take her into the beatdown battle, um, the one obviously meant for <laughs> Visions of Coleus, and we'll see how well she does there and how much damage she does. Alright, so this is a team I'm going to be taking into Inferno 2. Now, it is an interesting, different, uh, interesting looking team, definitely different from what I had before. So obviously Violet's going to be our main DPS along with um, Blanc. She will be here for also supporting getting all the ults and stuff like that, and then also her buff. Dreamer is here for his orb change, and then also the Soul of Unity, which will be the big setup for us to get our ults with these two. Um, Kazuma is here because if you look at the boss, right, she has um, Pierce and Crit Rate Resistance. Um, or right here, Pierce and Crit Rate Resistance, so you can't really Pierce. Um, but I haven't used Cosmo in a while, and his buff um, gives defense down and an attack buff, so I figured that would be pretty good. And then uh, Guy is here for his um, orb change, as long as well as his alt buff. Um, this is a very expensive team. I don't know how far we can build, um, but 
um, we will try our best. So let's see how a Blanc does. I would like her attack stat to be higher, but um, I need to get better gear and things like that as well. So let's get right into it. Um, we are going to try nuke like turn eight, turn nine, but I don't know how smoothly this is going to go. And I'm a little scared for Cosmo because he might take a lot of damage. But we will try our best. Okay, so... Um, I will do this. Um, I will swap, obviously, you in for you. I want to swap Rimuru out. Um, just so I can get the most out of his orb change. So we'll do this. So about 5,000, which is not bad. Um, again, I don't have the best gear on her, so her attack stat's going to be a little bit low. But okay, that's a little unlucky there. Um, what? Okay, this is this is good. So I kind of want to swap you out right now. Um, I'm going to pop this because this should... Do I have animations on? We're, we'll, 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 we'll watch animations. Um... But this will give us synergy, this will give us the blue orb buff, and then also this, I believe, buffs guys' uh, damage as well. Which, I mean, isn't that big of a deal, but, like, why not, right? Does this buff your attack? Um, yeah, it does. Okay, that's great. So, I'm gonna pop it. Um, we'll just say we'll have max of that a lot of skill points all right we're doing a pretty good damage okay thank you for that. um we're doing pretty good damage so far okay that's um hmm pop this okay This as well. Okay, so I think if I do two, one, two, one, it'd be good to go. All right, nice. And I don't want to bring Rimuru in here. Hmm. A little too early. Maybe next turn. We'll have max skill points. Almost these ultimates. Yeah, guy's not really doing that much damage. Alright, 20,000 through guard. Yes. Um. Yeah, yeah I really. Ooh, okay. Um, have a so hmm. If I bring Rimu in, die. I would be two. This is such a bad hand. Okay. Um, I just build this. do that okay. okay I'll try this okay wow she's doing a lot of damage oh my god I bring you uh just have to send you. Just don't. Okay, that's fine. Okay, okay, Alright. Um. I can do this. I can bring. And on top of this. Nice block. 
this. Pop this as well. So this is getting all of these buffs, which is fantastic. And these. So we'll have the both both of the EX all its max skill points and max of that. Um I'm just for guard fall off. Oh, for two more turns. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I think as long as we don't get countered, we should be okay. Ooh. Okay, I think we just have to try and chill here. Okay, so um uh, Okay. First I bring off this eighty 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 three twenty. All right, I think that bring this this this. Back, break down, pop this. Okay, and then we'll pop this again. Okay, so Violet should do a lot of damage. So we have, um, oh my god, okay. So we have attack by 92%, um, 4%, 50%, 100% magic attack, weakness strike, synergy rate. Um, and Blanc should also do a good deal. Um, I will... I don't wanna... Okay, I'll send these. Go that I don't wanna get countered. But I'm curious to know how much damage this is gonna do. This is through her guard. And she has uh, the debuff down and then I'll... This is. But... Let's see. Okay. Blanc... 92%, 50, 100, 90, 400. Okay, let's see. This ult looks really nice. I can't wait for yellow. I want to know what they're going to do for her. A million? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy. That's through guard. We did 1.1 million there. I want to say it's 1.5 maybe? With the um, type advantage? 1.7! Damn! Oh my god! That's, that's insane! That's so much damage! Alright, easy. That was way easier than I thought. Um. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um but yeah, I think that actually went really well. Um if we didn't have like Blanc there, right? The synergy resistance and the weakness strike helped so much. Because Synergy's already like she's already getting a lot of attack. And then and this is her with like 10,000, right? Plus the 92 buff. And I mean, we did have a lot of, of buffs, but that's still really, really good damage. And the weakness strike helps a lot. And we wouldn't have been able to get to make it properly without her multiple ult orb change. So yeah, Blanc did really good there. I really like Blanc on this team. Um, this team is really fun at the moment for me. Um, but let's try take her into something else. I'll try see and look around and... Um, yeah, we, we will we will try next. Okay, so we're here with uh, this team again. We're going to EX3. I know, I know. Um, the last time I ran this, I, I didn't look at Luminous' skill. I didn't realize she does the stun resistance. So we're taking this team in and we're going to wait to turn eight. So <laughs> yeah, I'm... um, I don't read. I can't read. So this is the team. We're going to be taking... Oh, let me... Replace this with my gazelle. So we will try this out um, just to see how she works on something like this, um, where we do want to stack 
but uh and also try to nuke um and i want to see her damage in a team that's more element based like this so we're gonna take it uh, maybe not the greatest in the world but i feel like we can have some fun with it so um the, this is a situation where the old thing won't matter as much unless like some other character gets uh like their ultimate like one of the three where i don't want them to or like i like don't need them to so we will try this um okay up this then what does yours do and the length defense okay so i will um i mean you're the main yeah, dps i guess i will also bring you in here Okay, let's see how much damage you do. Okay, 5,000. So pretty much the same as like as Raphael, maybe just a little bit less. That's still really good. Ooh, okay. okay thank you. Um, alright. I will bring you in here. Um, it's a shame about how the orbs turned out, but... We'll pop this. And I mean, I saw this last time, but still nice to see. Um, it's interesting how... Like, this is the most mileage I think I've ever got out of Shuna in the longest time <laughs> in this past, like, few weeks. Because I just never had a chance to use it, right? Or just never thought about using her. Um, but okay, this is pretty good. So we'll send Luminous and then you... Here. So, um, uh, this is just a point for, like, these stacking characters. I'm already noticing, like, I really like the Luminous's 50-point, uh, gain every time. It's really, really nice. Um, it feels a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, I, I don't need to keep doing that. Uh, I'm gonna turn it back on again. We've already seen it, and then I'll turn it off when we watch their alls and stuff like that. We'll pop this twice. Now, okay. This is gonna be a little bit tricky. Um so if I bring you in that I would really want to bring in for Raphael. Um, but I have no way of changing these two, so this kinda sucks. I kinda wanna do this. So we have a lot of turns, right? I need her EX ult, but we're getting really unlucky with her, their stuff. I don't know why. Okay, we'll do that. Then, um, do this. I'll send it to swap her out for now. Okay, so we have Raphael's ult, which is fantastic. Now I can just keep her in the back forever. Okay. Does yours have to do that? Ooh. Okay. Um, this is gonna be true. So. Uh. Gonna be bad. This. This is a waste of a turn, but... Okay, so... Bring you in here. Um... Wait, this. Bring... Here? Not this. Pop this. Pop this. Alright, we almost have her yet. Okay. 
Boom. And I like her animation. She just looks really good. Yeah, I really do like her. Okay. I'll pop these. Pop this. Honestly, I just bring Soka in here. I'll pop this and that again. Then can't I just do this? For uh. I'll do it next. Hmm. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Um. I I don't think I can get hurt ex at all. But I think that might be okay. I think that might be okay. Um not just go for it. Oh, I wish. But I think... Okay, we'll do... Dang, imagine. I just keep... Okay. Alright, this is it. Okay. Alright. We will do it. We'll pop this. Yes. Oh, just barely. Wow. First right. Back buff. Weakness strike. So. Send these. Send her. Send these. Her ult. That. Alright. He has. One million health. Can we. Can we. Obliterate him here. We shall see. Um, I'm not too sure, but maybe we'll get close. Let's see. We get countered here. Okay. I think maybe. Mont Blanc. Flex on him. Boom. Five hundred fifty thousand. Okay. Then Rimuru, Ra Raphael should clean this up. Boom! Nice. But pretty good overall. Blanc really made this work a lot better than I thought. Even though I got a little close and just sort of like we almost died. Blanc's thing is actually really useful. <laughs> like, you don't even need to really swap out DPS. I mean, like, you can, but, like, you don't have to, you know? Which I think is really good. So, um, I think that's good enough. We definitely saw a lot of stuff in terms of how she works. I think she works really well. Obviously, to do more damage, I need better gear on her, um, but... Our skills even at level 7 work really nice weakness strike and the synergy resistance especially on luminous's team works really well and um the weakness strike just helps in terms of damage which i think is fantastic um and yeah we saw her do like 
one point what was it 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.2 1 1.3 around there um million damage all because of the weakness strike all the buffs synergy resistance as well um and this i think we've seen both in both fights the first one was really good because i could just um bridge the gap for my ex ultimate um which is really good that i think that was something that teams struggled with a lot i think this is what is going to make blanc really useful on a lot of teams is they struggle a lot to fully get the ex ult without having their ultimate block like be in the way but she completely gets rid of that and then on the second fight we saw like you could just keep Raphael in and then like like make it a lot easier to just get orbs because like i didn't have to waste like oh i don't have a specific orb change or anything like that but i could just turn these into blues and then make it easier right so overall i really really like blanc um she's really fun she looks great um i wonder what they're gonna do for john um or ye the yellow primordial yellow um hopefully i don't have to go to pity for her i'll do a few summons i guess but um i went deep for blanc and i kind of regret it in terms of how much i had to spend but uh, that's pretty much it um if you guys haven't already don't forget to like and subscribe button as well hoping to aim for 1000 by the time 2023 is over so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed um blanc is really fun i really enjoy her so thank you all for watching and i will see you on the next one peace